Look at when you run. Hello. Oh, hello. Did you see my van? Hello. Hello. See my van. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. test. Thank you for praying to the van gods. Obviously, it worked. Thanks to you. Yeah, the van arrived this week and we unsolved the mystery of where it went. That's crazy. We could have lost it because of that. It, we could have like lost the van forever. Something weird happened with the actual... Oh. Something, but you guys, something happened. You guys wrote some prayers and... Uh, it, worked. it worked. Thanks to you, it worked. <laughs> Pray to the van gods, Marie but COVID-19, the van it will delay. Mm -hmm. I pray for the van. Dom, you are the man. You have this in the can. Lol, that's the best I could do. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the van. Whoa, you are living the dream. Mm. I poop in a bag. <laughs> very accurate. <laughs> that's very... Mm. Anyways, your prayers work. Your prayers were answered. And uh, thanks for your poems. Uh, I think it worked as well. So here's what happened this week. Hi, we're Dom and Marie. Since 2016, we traveled the world by van looking for the perfect road trip. Until we decided to buy and convert our own little home on wheels that we named Vanessa. Every Sunday... Whoa, 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 wait a second. We sold Vanessa and we're about to build our second home on wheels. Follow us on this conversion project as we share all the details of our next camper van. Tricks, tips, and all sorts of advice. Buckle up, subscribe, and enjoy the ride on this new episode of Van Life Saga's new, new build, build series. series. Last week I was working from home and Christophe, who is in charge of delivering her van, yeah. called me. And he never calls me. Oh no, that's that not a, a good sign. Like yeah. clearly they lost the van and the I was van like, dropped in the Atlantic Ocean yeah. or something. Oops. Hello? Bonjour. Oh shit. <laughs> Ça va? Hey, c'est malade. Demi là, puis toi tu filmes. Comment? Demi film. Et voilà. <laughs> Allô, bébé. Ah, il est roux noir. And he was showing me the van. The van had just arrived in their in their garage, and I was ecstatic. And we learned what ecstatic means. Yes, because of that. Yeah. So in 24 hours, not even, I think, we packed up our things and we left for Quebec City. Going to a, a city called Laurier Station, and there's the word station in the word uh, in the name of the city. And what are we doing? I don't know. I heard they sell trucks over there. in the uh, morning because our appointment was pretty early eight. and it's like a two or three hour drive from where we had slept the night before yeah. and we get there and I was looking for the van in the parking lot and Christophe said you're not gonna see it because yeah. I brought it inside because so, he wanted to surprise us with the van because we had to put the winter tires on but he didn't want us to see the van before he had put the winter tires so I was looking for the van and we couldn't even see it is this our van? I don't think it is. I think so. Oh no. no. <laughs> 
So yeah, we, we showed up there with the cameras, uh, obviously, and, and I think his stuff kind of knew what we were About wanting to, to film, etc. So we just showed <laughs> showed up there and he says, I hid the vent in the garage. <laughs> and you can't come in because of COVID, so we had to wait outside. And she was basically waiting outside as if it was Christmas. It felt like Christmas for sure. Yeah, so she was in front of the garage like this and just, yeah. she was not uh, calm yeah. at all. <laughs> I'm impatient. Are you impatient? I'm always impatient. Yeah? And yeah. then we figured out the van was in like garage number three. So I could peek and I could see the van just shine in the middle of the garage. Did you shine the tires? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you speak English? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> but we finally picked up her van and the minute I saw her, I just flipped. Giving Vanessa away or selling Vanessa was like sending your kid to college and now picking up that van was like giving birth to a... I like the image. <laughs> but still... We picked up the van and it was just... I was freaking out. Hello! Today, I am picking up a new van. It is hidden behind that door! And the second it came out, we, we hopped in, we sat in the back, and we did a, a, a tour of tour. the parking lot. <laughs> because we were so excited. Hey, on est popé! Woo! I think the conversion's done. Yeah. I got a bed. A couple of tires and that's it. So what are we doing, stuff? We're going to the gas station. Are we going to the gas station? Yes, yes. we are. So yeah. we got the van, super big van, nice tires already, black caps, I'm already in heaven. Dom doesn't care about the layout, he just wants black uh, rims. I was like, I don't care about the van, I just want black rims, I don't want metal rims anymore. So yeah, we got the van and uh, Vanessa too was born. <laughs> We go home. So why weren't we able to locate the van in the last couple of weeks? And we figured there was a problem when we called the insurance company. They were trying to track the van in North America and they were not able they to said, find it. They said the VIN, so the vehicle identification number, number, was wrong. Well, it didn't exist. He's like, well, I don't have the VIN in my system. And I was like, this is what I have on the dealer's paper, on the contract. It has mm. to be right. And the lady was like, no, it's 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 wrong. It's not working. You don't have the right car. So at one point we talked with Kistuff. He was while we were tr while we were filling up the papers, and he was like, it's basically impossible that the identification number is wrong because it's written on the truck. So we just had to call everywhere. And at one point uh, we found out that the systems were not updated at the same time exactly. in North America with the insurance and the car dealerships. Yeah. So no one really knew where the car was and what was the official number of the car. So when we were checking online, it was not, available. not there. You couldn't find it. So that's why we, we couldn't locate it. So. Yeah, so it was pretty yeah. intense because we thought the van fell in a ditch somewhere because it disappeared basically and um we are the proud owner of this baby van so the second we arrived here in Romont, yeah marie stopped with her vehicle, I can't say the word vehicle. 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 Marie stopped with her vehicle, and she walked to mine or Vanessa uh, too. To ours. To ours. Please. And she said, "Okay, my turn to drive it." And I thought she would just drive it around, you know, for a few minutes. Nope. She did a full parade <laughs> in the city of Gromont with her new van. Here's how it went. 
put my key in the door. À gauche, à droite. And it jumped oh. back in my hand. So we just got back from Quebec City where we got the van. Now we went to drop the other van. And now we're taking this to your dad's garage, to his workshop, to show it for the very first time. Hello now. Look at my new van. Hello. Oh, hello. Did you see my van? Hello. Hello. See my van. Hello. So um, we arrived at the shop with the van and obviously the next person to know what was going on was my father. So we showed him the van and he was just as, as excited as us to see the van for the very first time. He's as excited? I don't think so. He was excited yeah. but not like ballistic excited. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was the biggest delivery of the week. <laughs> delivery! <laughs> there you are! Delivery! Delivery! Wait, I need to call my dad. Hello, Papa? Oh my god, what happened? Check it out! Hello! The second the van was parked, Marie got her green tape and started started taping everything on yeah. the floor with my um, overwhelmed father. <laughs> Are we taping things now? The first tool you guys get in that van. What does that do? It's a it's right so angle. Geometry? It's a right angle. You go there, it tells you that this is equal to this. Right? Why do you use this, Papa? To start measurements and you this yourself? make uh, the floor plan. You can take this, put it on the wall, and you've got your 90 degree line. Whoa! Right, take out tank and a half is gonna be right above. But we can push it like all the there. way there. I finally wrote Mama a letter last night. I let her know her number one son is all right. I'm going to school, learning a trade and a skill. Write me box 1000. First 30 minutes in the van. Yes. We have figured out where things were going to go. Ish. Sort of. Uh, I think the main takeaway now is that the plan we had in mind works mm -hmm. and the adjustments or challenges we were talking about are feasible or are deal or are I can deal with it. Can I try putting this on your eyebrow and see if No it no 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 no. It's already on my eyebrow. Look. Boring. I, like, I just wanted oh. to make sure everything was appropriate and it was <laughs> easy for us to circulate in the van. Appropriate? At the right place. Appropriate? I don't think it's appropriate. appropriate. She wanted to make sure everything was at the right place and she wanted to double check the dimensions we had on the plans prior to the van coming in the shop. That's, That's what exactly you want. what I meant. There you go. So everything works. We have the green tape on the floor, yep. everything's at its place, everything's gonna work. Yep. And there's still that bench difference, but I think it's gonna work as well. Yep. And um, yeah, we're sitting on the green tapes right now. Yep. We have a better idea of the colors that we are going to use as well in the van. Yep. We are gonna go with a similar color scheme at the, at the other, yeah. uh, as the other van. Maybe people could help deciding on the color scheme because I think there's gonna be a few details that we won't agree on. Yeah. And uh, I'm more into the dark patterns. She's more into the lightish, Norwegian patterns. Yeah, I'm into like Norwegian, Arctic, uh, like real wood, white, black accessories, metal-ish. Mm -hmm. Not me though. Yeah, I like waterfall counters, uh, so which is like the counter and then the counter also goes to the side, so I'm a big fan of that right now. So maybe they could help with that. Maybe they could. And uh, yeah. Decisions, decisions, they say. I could make two plates, one mood board for Marie, one mood board for me, and mm. people just vote. I know exactly what you're gonna be putting in yours, the slats like this, huh? Yeah, I've, I love Japanese slat styles. Anyways, Anyways let us know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
much as he comes. Oh, how do I cut this now? What we need to know here is that Ramsey is a big fan of toast. We need a table. That's hard as rock. It's probably cold. Ramsey, want a treat? Mm-mm. Give me your paw. High five. Wee! High five. Double high five. High five. <laughs> Mama. 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 Tu dis tu Mama? Mama. D'accord? Mama. The van has arrived. Everything is under control. Now, one of our main priorities is going to be to keep you updated on where we're at with the conversion yeah. with simple graphs yeah. of the schedule. Obviously, so, the first steps will be one, finalizing the plan. We need to make sure everything fits, having the right dimensions. We are also going to be putting the windows and the fans in the van. And that's then, the next step, yes. Yeah, and then we need to take an appointment to install the seat because, um, as you may know, because of regulations in the province, we can't install it ourselves. It needs to be done. So we are going to be calling our friends from Van Lake, Montreal. They're going to do that. They're going to do it. They're going to take care to... of the flooring with the seat. Yeah. And... and then it's go time. From there, we're going to yep. be framing and insulating and putting the ceiling up and... And dancing. Now, before we go to the French lesson... Yeah, if you have special requests, just tell us, but yeah. uh, we have one this week. Um, someone reached out to us, and apparently it is Claude Amel's 60th birthday. 60th, wow. Today, so wow. we wish you a very, very happy birthday. I think he speaks French, so... Joyeux anniversaire. Oh, there are two ways to say that, guys, as you can see. <laughs> so, Claude, happy anniversary. Uh, we hope you have a very, very good... 60th birthday, birthday, that's, birthday. That's another and uh, that's it for safe. us today. Yeah. yeah, see you next week, guys. Thank you for praying to the van gods. Uh, Thank you. The van, the van, there's a van, the van? van rhymes with van. Okay, okay. French lesson number 38. Marie était folle de joie. Mary was ecstatic. This is a very simple sentence. Marie stands for Marie. It is the past tense of the word être, so was. And folle de joie is a French expression that means ecstatic. Ecstatic, and ecstatic is a very nice word, by the way. But uh, folle de joie means uh, literally crazy of joy. And the funny thing is that in Canada, the other way of saying folle de joie would be folle comme de la marde. And that literally translates to crazy like a poop. But please, the next time you visit Paris, don't say folle comme de la marde. So uh, Marie était folle de joie, Mary was ecstatic. Ha 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 ha!